What's up, everybody? Welcome to the 29th episode of the Investing Penguin. Covered calls and cash-secured puts. We're mixing things up a bit. This video is going to be a quickie, and who doesn't love a quickie? If you are new to my channel, stick around as I reveal the profits using new core stock. And please hit all those buttons. Subscribe, like, and share. It's a lot of work making these videos. For those of you who don't know me, I am the Penguin, and in this video, I want to share with you my success with Nucor stock using cash secured puts and covered calls. Between January 14th and February 22nd, I profited $2,349.22 on Nucor stock. Nucor pulled back in January and hit my radar screen, so I decided to sell cash secured puts. The new core fell hard below my strike price and I was assigned the shares. I immediately wrote covered calls and the new core rocketed past my strike price in February. My shares were called away and I made a great return on new core. Here's the breakdown of those transactions. Before we get into the numbers, here's a quick snapshot of new core corp and their website. New core is one of the largest steel producers in the U.S. So let's first discuss the cash secured put trade for Nucor. So I had Nucor on my radar screen and when it dipped to 111 a share, I decided to sell cash secured puts. I had the potential to buy 200 shares of Nucor at 107 a share. On January 14th, Nucor was trading at 111.22 a share. I sold two cash secured put contracts for $2.35 for the January 28th expiration in the 107 strike price. In hindsight, I should have taken a deeper out of the money strike price since Nucor blew past my strike price, but I still collected a premium of $468.68, which equates to a 57.1% annualized return. On Friday, January 28th, Nucor closed at 99.79 a share, which was well below my strike price of 107 a share. So on the following Monday, I bought 200 shares of Nucor at 107 a share. After being assigned the shares of Nucor, then it was time to start writing covered calls. So after buying Nucor for 107 via the cash secured put trade, I immediately started writing covered calls. On February 1st, I sold two covered call contracts for $1.41 for the February 18th expiration and the 115 strike price. I collected a premium of $280.68. On Friday, February 18th, Nucor closed above 115 a share. So the following Tuesday, my 200 shares of Nucor were sold at 115 a share. I made a profit of $1,880.54 for 21 days, which is a 152.7% annualized return. And that's a great return. Here is a snapshot of all those trades, just so you know this is legit and I'm not blowing smoke. So here is a graph of Nucor stock between January and February. This graph gives a nice visual representation of the trades. On January 14th, I sold two cash secured put contracts for the 107 strike price and the January 28th expiration date. On Friday, January 28th, Nucor closed at $99.79 a share, well below my 107 strike price. On the following Monday, I bought 200 shares of Nucor at 107 a share. Then on Tuesday, February 1st, I sold two covered call contracts for the 115 strike price and the February 18th expiration date. On February 18th, Nucor closed at $122.93 a share, well above my 115 strike price. On the following Tuesday, I sold 200 shares of Nucor at 115 a share. Between January 14th and February 22nd, I profited $2,349.22 for 39 days. Well, that's it. I said this video is going to be a quickie. This is a new format that focuses on one stock at a time, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Have a great night, everyone. Disclaimer. 
I am not a financial advisor. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. I am only sharing my experiences and opinions. Investing involves risk, so please, please seek advice and educate yourself.